What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon or good morning, wherever you are. Um, and welcome to this video in which I wanted to do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Polyswarm or NCT. I think that abbreviation was still from the last name it had, which was, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong, but it was like nice cash token, something like that. Maybe it's still down here somewhere. Uh, no, I don't think so. But but yeah, so I analyzed, uh, analyzed this once before when it got listed on Coinbase, I think a couple of months ago. It's it's very well possible, very well visible in that one year. Yeah, beginning of uh, January when the volume went all the way up from uh, just over 100,000 100, up to uh, 60 million. And after that even, uh, well not higher, but afterwards the price or the volume has dropped down quite significantly. Uh, and over the last month, it was really low, as you can see, like even below a million, which you don't expect from a token on Coinbase. Um, I think its only major exchange is Coinbase though. Yeah, it's it's on Huobi and Gate.io as well, but it's not on Binance, not on FTX, so. Um, but yeah, still, so the volume right now has gone up quite a bit, more than 300%, up to 18 million, still not that much compared to other cryptos. Compared to the market cap, it's great, it's over 30%. So. In this video, I just wanted to take a look at what has happened, uh, very irregular moves uh, we can see, uh, but also what I expect to happen next. So I saw some speculation about what, what caused this move. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Some people say it's, it's a Binance listing. Well, that's not out yet. I mean, we can check that out real quick here. No, only new pairs and stuff. So no, I, I don't think that's it. It, it could be that, that some people are, are People, some people behind the token know about it, so insider uh, insider trading. But I doubt that's going to happen. It seems more like some will moves or something, and it also doesn't seem like they're burning supply. So yeah, it's it's to me, it's it, I'm not sure about what caused this move. What I do think though is that um, see. I would like to think that this is actually the top, but there is actually a possibility to, to get higher. And, and the main possibility lays within breaking above this level here at 40 or at 4 cents or 4.2 cents. So to visualize that a little bit, I think that if we can actually close above this level on the four hour time frame, so that's really difficult. It's not as easy as it, as, as it seems, but if we can actually close above like 4.2 cents, um, on the four hour time frame, I think we can actually get as far as this 3, 3.618 FIB at like uh, between like 5 cents and 5.3 cents. So I think that's possible, but I think it is way more likely uh, that will actually drop down. So, so the main condition is that within the next like two days, we actually break above 4.2 cents. If that happens, I think we can uh, expect an increase of about 27% uh, more. So that would be a nice increase. but. Uh, I think it is way more likely that we'll actually drop down, find some support here at 30 cents, although that isn't even guaranteed, usually with these uh, very big bull runs or spikes, but I think we should call this a bull run. Usually the, the first uh, like <clears throat> first key level it broke, so what we're trying to break retest on top of uh, actually is not that strong uh, as we expect. So I'm, I'm not that sure about this uh, support touch at 30 cents. I think it is more likely that we'll actually drop down to this level here at 2.5 cents and 2.3 cents. Uh, and I said 30 cents here, I meant 3 cents, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I think it is more likely that we'll actually either find some small support on, on, on 3 cents, but afterwards drop down to 2.3 cents, this level right here, and after that also down to uh, this level uh, between 2 cents and 1.9 cents. And that is, I think, the first region on top of which we can actually find some, some more support. So some support that at least can hold a couple of days. And then when we are on top of that support based on the market, but also the moves we get off of the 2 cents level, uh, we can either say that we're going to hold that level for a longer period of time or whether we are going to drop down further towards something like 1.5 cents. So that's still, I'm not sure about that yet, but I am. Uh, I do think that level could at least hold a couple of days. So I'll probably update that uh, either in another video or on Twitter or something. You can just follow me on Twitter, same name, Linux Crypto. So keep an eye out for that, but 
for now this is basically my analysis on polyswarm or nct so if you do have any questions about the analysis please let me know down in the comments and uh, as for now thank you all for watching and listening and i hope to see you all in my next videos bye